Why is it that preschoolers always need to go to the bathroom? You know what I'm talking about? Like they're go, go, go. They're running. They're having fun. They pause for just a second. Suddenly, I got to go potty. Okay, they're in freak out mode, right? They have to go now. They're doing the potty dance. And so you're taking a couple kids to the bathroom. You just get them back and two more kids have to go to the bathroom. And the experience of taking multiple kids and you try to take them all down the hallway. And all of a sudden, I'm surprised more of our preschool volunteers don't quit after just one bathroom experience with kids. One kid's running ahead and another one's staying behind. I mean, it's it always seems to be a challenge, doesn't it? Well, today I want to give you a couple tips on how you can create a more successful bathroom experience when it comes to dealing with preschoolers. So let's talk about how you can have a more successful time when it comes to helping your preschool kids go to the bathroom. It seems like we have to ask the question, why is it these kids always have to go body? Well, we're going to help you out. So a couple things that I want to encourage you with. First one is it starts before the kids even get there. Encourage mom and dad, hey, can you take your child to the bathroom before they come in? That's one less potty stop that you have to worry about. If the parents can take them before they come to class, get the habit of doing that, it's going to help you incredibly, at least five to the first 15 minutes of time. Secondly, make sure you have regularly scheduled times in your classroom time to take the class to the bathroom. And so if you have a really long service, you might want to do that twice. But we always set aside a time when we take the whole class to the bathroom. That's the bathroom time during our service. And so we have the kids trying to wait a little bit until that designated time. Third, take them as a group. All the kids go to the bathroom together. You want them all to go down there so it's one experience where all the kids are there and all the leaders are there. We're making sure that everybody is in the same spot for the entire time. It helps to keep it safe. And so while they're waiting, have them standing at the wall. Play Simon Says, make faces, eat, do different activities for the kids who aren't using the restroom that are just waiting outside the hallway. As long as we're talking about that, how do we get the kids to the bathroom and back? Maybe you have them all walk on a line on your carpet or on your tile. Maybe you have them touch the wall as they're going. Maybe they're spy kids. They have to be really quiet. Or maybe they're a choo-choo or they're holding hands. Making some kind of a fun activity as they go and they come back. That they all want to stay engaged. They all want to be a part of it. Additionally, help teach the kids that they can hold it. Now, I know for some of our younger kids, that's really hard to do. And if they really have to go, please make sure you take them. We don't want the embarrassment of the situation. Have a plan in place for that. But for some of those older preschoolers, go, hey, can you wait just a couple more minutes? And sometimes a simple distraction of playing a game helps them. They don't, they don't even think about it. They don't necessarily have to go. Especially if they just went a few minutes ago, they're probably going to be okay to hold it for five more minutes. Just using some of these simple practices can help you as you have a more successful kids ministry, as you're working through what it means to take preschoolers to the bathroom, as you're trying to remember to keep your kids ministry fresh.